हेलो क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल आई एम मोनिका बजाज यू आर साइंस टीचर एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट योर यूनिट फर्स्ट फूड चैप्टर नंबर वन फूड वेयर डज इट कम फ्रॉम ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म नीड फूड टू लिव एंड ग्रो फूड इज वन ऑफ आर बेसिक नीड्स टू परफॉर्म और टू डू एनी वर्क वी नीड एनर्जी दिस एनर्जी कम्स फ्रॉम फूड दैट वी ईट thus food act as a fuel for all living organism and helps them to do various day to day activities efficiently need for food food help us in various way food provide energy for various activity of the body food provides the materials for growth if we do not take balanced diet we cannot remain healthy food enable our body to fight diseases and protect us from infections food enables the body to repair and replace its worn out tissues the substance present in the food that provide the nourishment essential for the growth and maintenance of the body are called nutrients now we will see an extra mile saffron kesar is obtained from the leaves of crocus flower food varieties see figure 1.1 it show the different types of food eaten by us see these pictures certain facts about food there is a lot of variety in food we eat we eat different food items at different times of the day food eaten at breakfast lunch and dinner is different people from different states in india eat different kinds of food food ingredients some food items are made up of just one or two ingredients while other are made up of many ingredients an ingredient is one of the component or substance that is used to make a food item example of ingredients in some food items food items roti ingredients atta and water second rice rice grains and water dal pulses water salt spices terminate and oil next one is kheer rice water milk sugar cardamom and almond etc dhokla gram flour baking soda dosa idli or vada rice urad dal and oil food habits of animals different animals have different feeding habits based on their feeding habits animals can be divided into three groups herbivorous carnivorous omnivorous herbivorous herbivorous herbi means plant whereas vor means eater are those animal which eat only plant and plant products cow horse elephant sheep squirrel etc are some herbivorous animals see these examples of herbivorous animals next is carnivorous carne means meat whereas vor means eater those animals which eat only flesh or other animals are carnivorous like lion tiger eagle vulture etc are some carnivorous carnivores are also known as predators and the animals they kill are called prey huge sized carnivores like tiger leopard lion etc have sharp and curved teeth strong jaws and claws to kill hold and tear their prey a few animals like the snakes and frogs have long tongues and small teeth to catch their prey these are some pictures of carnivores animals next one is omnivores omnivores omni all there is vor means eater omnivores are those animal that eat both plants and flesh of other animals bear cow dog human beings etc are some omnivores they have body parts that can consume both types of foods see these pictures of some omnivores animals next one is scavengers and decomposers some carnivores and omnivores eat dead animals these are known as scavengers 
crow jackal and hyena are some of the scavengers scavengers are very important for us because they help in keeping our surroundings clean see these pictures of crow jackal and fungi some other organism feed on a destroy dead plants and animals these organism are called decomposers fungi and bacteria are example of decomposers next one is parasites there are some small animal which live on or inside other animals and get their food from them these are known as parasites fleas leeches mosquitoes and bed bugs are some of the parasites these are some pictures of parasites okay so next topic is sources of food we get food from plants as well as animals food from plants do you know where our food come from most of us food come from the plants plants provide us different types of food such as cereals fruits vegetables pulses and spices different parts of plants provide us different types of food the following figure shows the different parts of plants which provide us the food see this picture parts of plant first one is roots portion of the plants which is hidden inside the earth make its root they also take up water and food nutrition from the soil the food is kept in some roots these roots serve as source of food for us carrot turnip radish are example of these roots see these pictures of carrot turnip and radish next part of plant is stem a stem is main long thin part of the plant above the ground it is a link between the plant's roots leaves and flowers stems of certain plants are eaten for example the stem of sugarcane plant is eaten certain plants have underground stem that we eat examples are potato onion ginger etc next part is leaves leaves are called the kitchen of the plant because they prepare food for the plant leaf or spinach and cabbage are eaten in the form of curry lettuce and cabbage are also eaten as salad leaves of coriander and mint are used to make chutney see these pictures of spinach lettuce and coriander next one is flower a flower is a reproductive part of the plant flower of certain plants like cauliflower broccoli etc are also eaten by us the flowers of certain plants yield spices the clove is obtained from the flower of cesium plant see these pictures of cauliflower broccoli and cloves next is fruits and vegetables fruits are the parts of the plant in which their seeds are enclosed a lot of fruits and vegetables are also eaten by us for examples apple banana tomato peas etc see these pictures next one is seeds a seed has a baby plant in it and grows into a new plant gram peas wheat bees and sectra are seeds eaten by us cumin seeds pepper and cardamom that we eat as spices are also seeds of different plants see this pictures of wheat peas beans and cardamom sprouted seeds are very nutritious they can be eaten raw as salads or cooked food from animals animal product like meat egg honey milk cheese butter and curd are eaten by human beings meat the flesh of some animals is eaten as food poultry birds fish goats and sheep provide us meat some sea creature such as shrimps prawns shell fish and crabs are also eaten as rich source of protein egg hence egg is the most common birds egg eaten in the world it is a rich source of protein and vitamins some people also eat eggs of goose and duck honey honey is produced by honey bees from the nectar of the flowers 
honey bee collect honey in beehives honey is a sweet food and is also used in medicines milk milk is obtained from animals like cow buffalo and goat it is a very nutritious food items and is a rich source of protein milk also contain calcium which is required for proper bone growth and nerve functions next one is cheese cheese is made from curdled milk of cow goat sheep or buffalo cream cream is made by collecting the top fatty layer of the milk butter butter is made by churning fresh cream ghee ghee is made by gently heating butter and removing the solid matter curd common methods of making curd includes adding a small sample of curd in warm milk the microorganism bacteria present in the curd sample turn the milk into curd unlike the green plants animals cannot make their food unlike the green plants animal cannot make their own food they depends on plants and other animals for food animal product like meat egg honey milk cheese butter and curd are eaten by human beings now let's see an extra mile animals cannot prepare their own food they depend on plants and other animals for food next topic is food chain plant use the sun's energy to prepare their food herbivores eat these plants to obtain energy a carnivore or omnivore eat the herbivores as its food this feeding relationship between animals is called food chain thus food chain shows the process of eating and being eaten up it also shows the interdependence of organism on each other see this picture for better understanding plant is eaten by the goat and the goat is eaten by the lion all food chains start with producers that is green plants thus all animals are directly or indirectly dependent on plants for food thus a simple food chain can be given as producer plants are eaten by the primary consumer that is goat and the goat is consumed by the secondary consumer that is human or lion another example of a typical food chain is given below water plants is eaten by pond snail whereas pond snail is eaten by fish and fish is eaten by kingfisher okay we have done the chapter now let's revise it quickly readers digest all living organism need food to live and grow plants and animals are two main source of food different animals have different feeding habits herbivores eat plants carnivores eat flesh of other animals and omnivores eat both plants and animals scavengers eat the dead animals and decomposers decompose the dead plants and animals all food chains begin with producers Okay student we have done our chapter let's meet in our next class thank you